Hello there, and welcome back to the How to Build series of Alexandria Safe Zone from The Walking Dead. Today we're going to be concentrating on inside the Monroe family house. I'm Joshua from Mr. Appleby, and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is change all this oak wood here into acacia wood planks. Just because the Monroe house has a shinier looking floor. So for this whole layer here, just use acacia wood and we'll come back to it when it's finished. Okay, and once that's done, we'll concentrate on the stairway here. So I just want you to be using the light grey terracotta. We'll cut into this wall and this will be the wallpaper. And for now just work up to these quartz blocks up here. So once that's done we can get started on the stairs. And I am going to be using dark oak wood for these. The stairs start almost as soon as you're in the doorway so we're going to start it from here. Gonna start one full block between that and the archway. Then underneath the stairs are gonna be the white terracotta. And next to that will be acacia planks. So you have acacia planks going one up next to it. And then underneath will be light grey glazed terracotta. Again, that'll match the wall on the other side. So we don't want to be going too high with this, just up to this level, or maybe one above. Now continue, and we'll get the acacia planks as well. it will go one higher just like so that way we can have a different ceiling color then just fill this entire layer in we'll say give yourself enough headroom so when the stairs start, that's when you'll be sectioning off the the flooring. Okay, and once that's done, you should have a nice acacia floor on the top floor. And we won't worry about this today because we don't see much of the upstairs from this house in the TV show. So we'll leave that for now. Maybe fill in the upstairs however you like, however you imagine it to be. Then for the ceilings we're going to look at using quartz, be using quartz for here. Just fill in the entire layer underneath the acacia wood. And there we are, once the ceiling's done, just cover in these bricks here with the white terracotta. Okay, now that that's done, we'll look at putting in the stairs down here and the back wall as well. So the back wall will just go next to this doorway. Like so. I think we'll actually place the door here. We're using a birch wood door for this back one and a birch wood one for here. And then we can leave that room closed. Now for the stairs down here, we're going to be doing exactly the same. Start from, yeah, we'll start from here. Going all the way down. Stairs, 
I want it the same white terracotta stairs. If I could place it the right way around, that'd be great. There we go, dark oak, dark oak stairs. Terracotta, dark oak stairs. And we'll just get in a banister as well. So the banister will just come out to here. And then fill in this wall here with the glazed terracotta. Then down in the basement, we'll make a quick makeshift room. Just so when you're peering in from the outside, so it looks natural. And there we have it, I've made a little room, just going to leave it empty. And I'm going to use white terracotta for next to the stairs on the way down. with the real walking dead stuff come back in here okay now for the decorations of the main three rooms so first of all we've got the living room we'll have bookcases in this wall here in this wall here i think just underneath the windowsills as well Do the same there this instead of being glass as it is because it'll end up being a doorway instead to the balcony area out here. So for this one we're going to get the bricks back. Bricks on there. And we'll get the birch door back. Put the birch door right there. Open it up. You've got a nice doorway. And then we'll get the white terracotta and place it in there. Actually we'll place it in like so as well. Then we have like a diploma or something on the wall here. We'll have a chair going up as well. We'll find something for that. What shall we use? Okay so we're going with some basic Minecraft options here because we are pretty limited. We'll have one chair being in this corner here. We'll have to be there. And one being there as well. Then opposite, we'll have the leather sofa. Leave a one gap in between. And leather sofa being here for now. Actually, we'll make it curve it off, give it an arms. Give them the arms. And we'll want a little coffee table in the middle here. So that'll be that side. And then that's that side. Then we fill in this. Fill in the floor again. Get rid of that. And then we'll find the slabs for the middle. And then there's a little side table here as well. We'll get that in and we will use the glass as the bottom of the table. And then we'll see if some carpet can go on top. Light blue carpet for the top of it. And that works as a side table. If you want to add anything onto the arms of the chairs, we can always use a sign for this one. And same for that one here. Obviously we can't do that side because of the glass pane in the way. So once that's done, we'll come over to this middle area here. This is the dining room. This one just has a carpet in the middle, so we'll go three by three. That'll do for the carpet. Then we have two columns either side leading up to the ceiling. 
just put the columns in here for now. There we go. I will be blocking one window there and I will have tables and chairs in the middle. So for this one we'll use the same sort of style chairs. Chair there, chair there. Be pretty limited on having all the chairs there otherwise we'll have no room to get in between it. So we will use birch frame and we'll use a brown carpet for the top of the table. And then the same again with the chairs if you want you can have arms on the chairs. Maybe not on the top like that. Two arms on the chairs. And then there's just a little side table on here as well. So we'll go back for the spruce wood. Like that. There we go. We can plant whatever we like on the top of there too. I'm going to place a wee cheeky little flower pot in with red tulips so Carol can come in and look at the flowers. And we haven't got too much space left for the kitchen. Okay, so we'll want some black counters here. Some nice little countertops. And we'll have a stove over here as well. For the stove we're going to use an iron trap door. Like that. And then we'll get light grey terracotta as the extractor fan here. That just curves up like that. And then for the rest of the surface we shall use wooden trap doors. That'll just make a little difference. And because these are also drawers we'll have buttons as the handles. And then we have a little island in the middle here as well with a tap and sinking. It's very generic at the moment. Do we want item frames as well here? That's more diplomas. And a painting here. Maybe not that size. And a painting in there. Now we'll get some acacia wooden stairs in as well. And yeah, acacia wood stairs in here. Just place them like so. Plant that wall back in, and then we'll come over to this extended area here, and we will put in another chair, just by the window here. Put in the sign too. We've got a little table area as well. And we'll put some light grey carpet on top of this table. Now there is also a chimney area but we're just going to have to put a little fire garden to represent that for now. And there's a fireplace over here as well, but we can actually dig into this one. So what we'll do is we'll get bricks again. There we go. And build up as if it is a fireplace. Maybe have some full wall. Like that. And then there's meant to be a TV as well, so we'll find something for that. I think we'll just use a block of coal. Just have a nice flat screen here. Then we'll use this block of mycelium here and that'll be some ashes. And last but not least just do some final decoration. Just have a few torches in. We could put lights in but we do want to see around here as well. And we'll get a few paintings in. Maybe not that size. Maybe not that size. Not that size. There we go, painting there. And a painting there.
and a few little works of art in the corner. And there we have it, that's the inside of the Munro family house. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.